settled in. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon, a little after 2. We're after Birchall's, Hard Beast, Springbuck, Jackal, Peppin. Uh, for sure. So, uh, we got several days done here, so it should be good. A lot of animals in the trail camp. This is a really dry part of the Kalahari right now, so they're really thirsty. So we hope that comes to our advantage. So we'll see what we can do. Hopefully we'll have a Heart of Beast or Zebra both down by, by dark. Yeah, I miss you. Girls, I miss all of you. I don't really miss my shadow.
All right, it is Friday, October 5th, I think. 4th, 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock, October 4th. I'm shaking. I'm about ready to cry. We have been after a Birchall's to go with my Hartman's. And we had a stallion come in two days ago, and I should have shot him then, I think. I put off, he was a young stallion. And uh, there's like three groups of adults here, herds, and they've just been battling over the water. They just would never commit. They're all around us, but they never will commit. And the stallion came in again. I said, I wouldn't go turn him down again. He's just got a beautiful head. And the other day I moved at the wrong time and the scarce chair squeaked or something. And I think Peter's ready to shoot me then. And he started coming a while ago and I bumped an arrow and my spare arrow and it slid down the tent, down the pop up and he backed off. And finally he came in and Peter pegged him at 29 yards and I moved my apex sight to 29 and I think I made a good shot. We saw it run off and had complete penetration. It wasn't a complete pass through the arrow still in him, so we think he's down. So we're he's got to go look for him. I'm shaking. It's been an awesome hunt with Peter Delport. I tell you guys, I'm freaking just I couldn't yap here. I'm shaking. I felt like I'm going to cry. I think I'm more excited now than I was over that Hartman's. So yeah. we're going to go go look. Thanks to Jim, Peter. He's a player. I don't know. He's ready to kill me. He's like, we don't get this stinking zebra. I want to shoot this kid myself. So. Uh, I'll tell you, my, my guy, uh, my PH, Peter Delbert, is a snake in the grass. He's rotten, sorry, terrible person. Uh, shot my zebra. I saw a complete pass through. The arrow broke. Didn't see a lot of blood coming out. So you come over here. The arrow that's part of the next it's covered in blood. I'm starting to panic a little bit. So I back up to come to the blind to get some out of the blind so they get here with the tractor dogs. We go after and I turn around the zebra's laying there. He do it all the time. He's a sorry, sorry individual. <laughs> so alright. We're gonna go ahead and let his dogs for the practice track this thing. The young one and the old one. There's the arrow. He even made comments to me, well, if the vultures get through with it, you at least have the skull. For sure is a waste. That was a good hide. Look at him. He's not real, real huge. He's not a big, big, mature animal. Yeah. He was quartered away from us. So I hit him a little far back. And hopefully that other exit wound is further forward. Got it. Huh? It's on the shoulder, the exit. And uh, golly, look at the coloring on his neck. He's going to be beautiful with my Hartman's.
October 4th, Friday. I'm in Namibia, south, southeast of Benhook. It's been an incredible hunt. I like to say we killed something every day. We didn't, you know, weather get you wind. Yesterday we had, you know, sandstorm, but we still got a hard beast in the morning. And then we had some travel in between. He's taken me to three different locations that are just outstanding, incredible places to go to. One way up in, in the north by Atasha, uh, on the border of Atasha National Park, uh, near Otadi, and uh, another one northwest of uh, Venho, just 30 or 40 kilometers, I think it was, for the mountain zebra. And I almost got one up there uh, also. Uh, but they went to this baboon. It's a beautiful place, beautiful mountain, beautiful lodge up there. And then we came down here and we're in another beautiful lodge. We're staying there, uh, beautiful guest facilities. And we're hunting another piece of property. Their place, their house was under construction, uh, really being renovated, so we're staying uh, nearby. It's actually about a 30 minute drive from here, 30 or 40 minute drive every day. So we get up at 4.15, eat breakfast. We leave there by about 5.15, 5.30, heading this way, getting a stand. And we were after a Birchels. That's really the last big animal on my list. And uh, there's a lot of them on this property. There's at least three herds around this blind. We keep hearing them talking to each other. The problem is getting a herd to come in. Man, I'll tell you that I don't think there's a tougher animal, and I'm not a world expert by stretch of the means, but I don't think there's a tougher animal in the world to hunt. We've had for 10 days, you name it, plains game coming in, even a caracal, cat. We've had multiple species of game here at one time, but getting a zebra to come in is next to impossible. It's next to impossible. And uh, we don't have any footage hardly of them coming in. Uh, they're just they're just that small and that tough to get with a bow. Uh, we've had giraffe come in. I mean, least buck, springbuck, uh, you know, kudu, blue wildebeest, black wildebeest, uh, oryx, hartebeest, impala. Uh, God, uh, seems like I'm from warthogs. And these zebra just will not commit, and they just will hang out. And every other animal has been here today just laying around, just doing nothing. And these zebra just come out in the back and just won't come in. You can hear them back there. It's very nerve-wracking. So my hunt's almost over. So we're out here sweating our butts off in Namibia, enjoying it. And I'm glad to be here. It's been a great trip. Peter Delport's an awesome guy, and uh, he knows bow hunting. That's the key. So I'm gonna turn this thing off. He went to take that zebra back to the skinning shed, and uh, I'm kind of on my own for probably 30 or 40 minutes till he gets back. And so hopefully I'll be okay. And uh, great trip. You know what? To be better, so my daughter was here. Yeah, I miss you. Love you, kid.